I watch them live their lives while I struggle in this pain. It gets hard to resist. But I'm not strong. Not like you. Forgive me. Mother. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ultimate Skyrim Season 3, One Life, One Death. Here we have Elephant Malkor, a newly created Nord vampire who has succumbed to its influences and is now on a quest of flesh and blood and to become the ultimate vampire. So, this is the character. What I've done with him so far is I've given him some pasty skin, gave him some elfish sort of ears just to sort of bring out a more vampiric sort of nature, and I've emancipated his uh, I was going to say skin. No, his face made it a little bit more thinner, sort of look like he's uh, thirsty, like hasn't eaten in days, and he's got a little bit of a scar on his left eye there. I quite like how he turned out there. All right, so let's get started on the vampire playthrough, making sure he doesn't die at all. So as a vampire, though, we are starting at stage four, painful thirst. So what that means is anyone that spots us will attack us on sight and ironically in order to avoid that we need to attack them and take their blood to lower those stages as much as possible and when we do lower those stages we will um, increase our statistics we will buff ourselves up to pretty much like 520 or something of that nature there that will be our first step is to lower our vampire stages in order to maximize our potential there and before we get into it too much let's just sort of do this do that i'm gonna set this up right there and we're gonna do this as well and we're going to do that okay that's good oh we have a box pouch oh. here and here and we're gonna keep that off so we have access to some magic on our left hand there so for this character i think i'm going to make him into a heavy armored vampire and the reason why is because those ebony vampires are so strong and they're so badass and i'm thinking hey i would like to be strong and badass too and what better way to do that than to be like a heavy armored vampire with a two-hander i think i think a two-hander would work quite nicely for this guy oh Looks like there's two guys right there already. But I haven't really gotten a good look at them. Maybe they're too strong. Just need to have a look, see? Come on, where are you? Okay, maybe if I get on that rock. And because I am at painful thirst here, I can't be sprinting everywhere because my stamina, as you can see right there, is not regenerating. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Oh, jeez. This guy with the horse up there. But it looks like just to be like a caravan of just like weak little pee pee people. <laughs> pee pee people. What? <laughs> like, okay. Hold on. They look like they don't have any armor whatsoever, which is good for me. But he does have a bow and arrow. Dang. Oh, dang. I stood up by mistake. It's a bandit. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck. Damn, it, damn it, damn it. Okay, gotta run. Hey. Okay. Down, he's down. Ooh, okay. Gonna grab that blood right away. No, oh, get the blood. Yeah. Okay, so that should heal me. You I start regenerating. Oh dang it! That would have been good. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, good hits there. Okay, he's going to... Dodged. There we go. Okay, good. Perfect. He does uh, have some heavy gear there. And he does have an iron spiked club, which is better than what I have, certainly. At least versus certain enemies, for sure. I would say overall, in Requiem, I think the swords might be overall the, the best. When going up against guys in heavy armor, I think um, a blunted weapon is better. But I think for most opponents, it's gonna be the sword especially versus uh undead you'd want to go for a uh, silver silver great sword with a fire enchant seems to work wonders against undead just fyi there and check out what this guy has he got a ton of arrows i'm just gonna take his arrows oh and a leather bandolier i'll take that very good but it is uh don't need that Skooma. Uh, I'll take a skooma. Sure. I wonder where his bow went. Because what good is... uh? Okay. I must have like smacked the bow out of his hand and then it went flying somewhere. Which is unfortunate for us. Because now I have all these arrows and not really a bow to use it with. Dang unfortunate so i'm probably mm, should i drop those arrows I do have a lot of carry weight so it's not so bad uh, i'll keep the arrows because they're, they're quite a lot so all i need is a bow and arrow and i'll be good to go so i'll uh, invest in the future there all right so so far we're doing pretty good oh no peddler Oh wow, he's oh my goodness, he's got oh my oh holy oh holy oh my gosh. Wow <laughs> What a score so early on. Uh God what do I get? So so much Mammoth Tusk? Oh that's pretty good value. Five weight for two hundred Oh my goodness. You know, I should probably just take all these pelts. Like, no joke. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to get. Like, the Grand Soul Gems, of course, I should get. The Graders. A Steel Lockpick, for sure. Lessers. These are filled with souls. Oh my gosh. I need the pelts, because then I can make my own gear. Uh, probably going to save right after this, too. Gold ore, ebony. Get started on that ebony armor. <laughs> oh, wow. This is such a score. No. Roll. Wolf. Oh, he's got shock arrows too. It is... Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Take these, cause it. Dang it! Just take them all. Just take it all, and then if we, if we don't have a, a way to sell it or make use of it, I'll just maybe drop it somewhere. Take those arrows. Take this as well, and then I'll leave the rest. I don't really. Mm, Actually, I need that steel. <laughs> Quick silver. Okay, uh, we're... D wow, that's quite a haul. I think I'm just going to save right there. What a wonderful start so far. Okay, so... Where are we at? We are at Longing for Blood, which is level 2, or stage 2, I should say. And at stage 2, 3, and 1... Um, Got that order and like all in mixed up, but the point is below stage four, nobody will attack you on site. At stage four, people will attack you. So I'm feeling pretty safe right now. And speaking of safe, let's get started on wearing the heavy armor there. 
So I'd really like to. And because he is a Nord, he does gain a little bit more extra benefit from wearing heavy armor there. Very nice. I'm quite, quite ecstatic right now. Wonder if I can Halt, Outlander. By the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwell. This is our stronghold. Here we are free to live as Malakath. I kinda forget, is this away from the, the orc encampment the that gives the ebony? I forget We're which encampment it was. Our blood kin, so stay out. We own what are you doing here, Outlander? We don't deal with your Dang, okay. There's a horse right there. Come on. Okay, he's on the run. No, you're not gonna best me? Okay, he's gonna go hide. But then there's that horse. Would it be... Because I would like to get a blessing of RK, but I'm not... I grab this horse, it's going to be considered stealing. I want that horse. Because this is like, it's right there, and I could take it. And then after I ride it for like five minutes, it'll be considered mine, and I'll get a free horse out of it. Do I want to do that? Elephant, what should we do? Take a horse, or not take a horse. I think, I'm pretty sure if we steal horses, it's not considered a crime. Ugh. You know what? I'm not going to go for it. I'm not going to risk it. We'll take the long way. It'll be okay. We're a vampire. We can handle it. We have unlimited sprinting. Okay, we'll be okay, I feel. Look at that. Stamina regenerates so quickly. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a wonderful thing to watch. Now I'm going to kill that wolf. Get ready, wolf. Oops. I mean, I had that set up. Get ready, wolf. Here I come. This is actually kind of good to level up my uh, alteration magic just a bit while we're kind of in the middle of like just attacking this defenseless creature here good and proper and uh, what else do we have as far as like items okay we got an animal bone large so what i'm gonna do with that is i'm actually going to make a bone a hunting knife you can also make engraved bones that are considered to be buffs. So the engraved bone of uh, Julianos is the Magica. Kinnereth is HP buff. And Hercene is the stamina buff. But I'm not going to use these because they're just a once-off sort of thing. I'm going to actually use a bone hunting knife here. Actually. Hold on. Now I'm thinking. Because if I do skin this... It's going to take an hour to skin, or each each section that I click on, uh, each interactable on this wolf will take an hour to execute. So that'll be, so it's one o'clock now, it'll take me three hours, take me up until four. No, I'm not going to skin this guy because it's probably going to kill me. I could, hmm. Could I pick it up? No, it's too heavy. Okay, let's not bother with that. I think... I'll have to lay off on the skinning for now until I'm kind of established here on a place to call my very own. I would like to use White Run as a, my place of operations because I did do a video on vampires and I think overall White Run might be the ironically the safest place because you do have a pretty easy access to blood. And that kind of makes sense, because it's like, you want to go where the blood is, basically. Oh, Jesus, Murphy. Gotta get out of here. 
Okay, don't do it. Don't do it now. Did you know? Where did he go? Where is he? Okay. Um. My game crashed. Sorry about that crash there, ladies and gentlemen. We're back into it. But unfortunately, it looks like that saber cat has gone away. But there is a wolf here that will... Oh, he's, he's gone. Oh, come on. Come on now. Give me some blood. Give me some blood. The animals will not give you blood. I was just sort of like trying to drain it of blood with my spell. And uh, looks like it's flown the coop there. Unfortunate. Anywho, I'm not going to chase it down, though. We do have a task at hand, which is to uh, find a roost. And there is another person over yonder. Let's see. Looks like just to be a regular farmer, though. Maybe I'll leave him alone, or let's just see what he's got. Oh, he's one of those merry men. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, let's see here. Okay, actually, I was gonna think. I was gonna think about feeding on them with vampire, uh, vampire seduction. But if they witness me feeding, then that's no good. good to see another ah, but you look tired. No, no, no. Share a bottle of honey brew Should I do that? I'll get teleported somewhere if I do. Hmm. No, uh, no, I don't want to get teleported. I want to stay in uh, control and I'm probably going to lose my pants when I do and I don't want to lose my pants just yet. Kind of want to stay the course here, um, make my way over to um, an inn that I saw while walking uh, down here. It's up over, over yonder in that ridge line area. Yeah, it's right there. So you can probably see the, the roof on it. Okay, look at that. Oh, there's a big fight there, and it looks like that guy's got some nice gear. Oh, no, I kind of wanted the Stormcloaks to lose because I like the Stormcloak gear more than Imperials. Uh, the Imperials kind of look like they're wearing a dress a lot of the time. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? What is this? What was that? I never I never experienced a goat attack me before. That's, that's new. Gosh, I was... Shocked and appalled. Right then. All right. Goats are out for blood as well, it seems. Okay, but we do have an Imperial Captain here wearing the, the nice dress. Um, But if I loot him and people spot me, then it's kind of considered a crime, I think. Mm, yeah, it is plate, and it's pretty good plate. Do I have my perks? Okay, I don't have my perks. So, I do want to, again, make this into a heavy armored um, ebony uh, vampire. I think that'd be kind of a good goal. So, I am going to, I'm thinking heavy armor, get some block going, and get some two-handed going, just to kill uh, that much quicker, to get the blood that much quicker as well. So I'm going to put in some block that will increase my survival ability there with the two-handed. Get that as well. Get some great weapon mastery and then get some armor conditioning going for that heavy armor so I don't lose stamina as I walk in it. And hopefully when I loot this guy, no one will get angry with me, please. Hey, good. No one got angry. Wait, he's got Imperial Silver. Hmm. Nah. We're just going to drop all of this now because we no longer really need it. It's just adding to our to our weight. Pouch, leather bandolier. Very nice. Very good. Iron spike. Anyone going to spot me? 
looting these corpses and get me in trouble with the gods. Uh, Imperial short sword, well made. Swords are overall better, I feel. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, swords are better overall, I feel, than like, say, uh, the clubs, which are blunt. Blunt weapons are better versus armored opponents, but most opponents in this game aren't very well armored, I would say. I'd also say um, swords are also overall better versus undead, which is the vast majority of the game, I find. Okay. Anything? Ooh, arrow silver. Ooh, and a bow. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, who's spotting me? I think it must be like a fish or something crazy. I'm going to go for it. Don't get mad with me. We got here. Okay, nothing that I want. So now the big test is to see if the divines uh, consider this a crime. Because I did technically steal from these corpses. That's right, you run away from the Imperial Vampire. It's official. Give me goodies. Ah, yes. I guess because someone, people didn't spot me looting, it's not considered a crime officially. So that's good to know. Wonderful. So the gods will consider that A-OK. -okay. Just <laughs> It's not a crime unless you get caught. That's basically uh, what the divines were saying there. Uh, good to know, Divines. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Why is it always coming off of my favorites here? Actually, no. Vampiric Drain is now kind of useless for me. Now that I think about it. Because it's going to use up. Because wearing heavy armor, yeah. If you wear heavy armor in um, Ultimate Skyrim, it will increase the cost of magic spells. So now Vampiric Drain is all but kind of useless. So... Should actually just like go for a heavy shield then. Let's just go back real quick. Grab that heavy shield. Until I can get a two-hander. Because I can't get one yet. And then that would be good. Actually, I think there was a two-hander. It was iron. I was kind of looking for a steel one. But was it down here? Or was I just imagining things? I think I was just imagining things. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Let's go for the heavy. Where, where are you here? Imperial Captain. Got the heavy shield. I'm just gonna drop all this. Okay, Britain got weight. Very good. Alright, so. We got the nice little tank and spank gear. We're moving incredibly slowly. But luckily our stamina does regenerate quite quickly. So I'm not feeling too bad about it. I could also just take off the gear for now. Oh, that will increase the weight, though. Yep, that will increase the weight, but it will make me move a little bit quicker. I could have gotten that horse. No, <laughs> kind of regretting not picking up that horse, but I think it would kind of be considered stealing at that point. Because there were people standing right there watching me, so... I'd have to uh, let go of the horse, unfortunately. But this is a good start, I would think. Let's check out our armor rating. Do, do. Not bad. With the shield up, our armor is at 712. That's pretty good. We do move incredibly slowly. So, got to bear that in mind when uh, in combat there. But I don't doubt our armor and HP will carry us through. And now we're going to uh, check out the old Holdren Inn here, which should be quite exciting. And they got what looks to be a wood chopping block, which would be nice if we do ever plan on going out camping. We kind of can't as a vampire because, again, the problem is you kind of have to be indoors when you're sleeping. Otherwise, the sun will burn you to a crisp. That's just the unfortunate reality of it. However... If we do find a nice place, we can use a campfire to use our campfire, um, what can I call it, uh, campfire skills from the campfire mod. 
but it'd have to be indoors. That would be kind of the deal there. We're going to check it out, see what's what's going on in here. Maybe pay for don't like those eyes you got. Pay for a night in. That's right. In the second era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered old Heraldin from the barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as old Heraldin's liberator. As good as huh, it was okay, that's interesting. I'd like to rent a room though. Let's see, I'd like an ex should I do an extended stay? So what this means is I'd have to put down a down a deposit first, and then I'd have to keep on paying her. I'm assuming 80 gold a night. But then I have pretty much a guaranteed place to like escape from. At least temporarily. But then I'd have to go back to her at some point and keep on paying her. Or I can have her have it. Hmm. I'd yeah, do an extended stay. Then I have to keep paying her. And so I, I'm kind of locked in in this area until I tell her I uh, like to move out. Or I can just stay for the one night and then move on and then maybe go to. Um... It's tough, man. Because once you. It's hard at the start to get yourself established and get like a base of operations going so you can hide from the sun. But once you, once you get it, you're pretty much on easy street. Yeah. Okay, so it's 2 a.m. Check the map here. Okay. Let's stay the night here. But uh, it'll take me 10 hours. I'd have to sleep for two hours and then wake up and then eat. If I can eat. And head to Old Rorkstead. I'd like to use Whiterun as my base of operations. The sewer. It's a pretty nice little area. And it's nice in the center of the map too. So, And Riverwood's right over there too. Okay. So I think I will spend the night here. I think that will be the strategy. Let's just check out. What we've got here before I've commit to anything. Okay, so we do have a person sleeping here. That's pretty nice. Okay, ooh, and we have another one here. So these two guys will be absolutely critical, especially for emergencies. Where are we at for um, lying for blood? So we're at stage two. So, okay, so I'm going to feed on one of them. I'm going to purchase one day. And I'm going to feed. That'll get me to stage one. And that'll reset the timer. And then I'm going to sleep until 7 p.m. Because that's when night officially comes. Okay, so that will be the strategy there. Oh, oops, this is the wrong option. I just want to rent a room for the night. Okay, so 80 gold. I'll show you to your room right this way. See ya. And then, unfortunately, one of those guys are going to have to bite the bullet to get me to stage one. And then it'll take around 10 hours before I get to stage four. And then I'll wake up and then hopefully one of these guys will be uh, available for me to feed. And that'll get me back down to, like, uh, maybe stage three. We'll see. Because it'll take two hours hours okay so let's let's do this now actually no 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 okay yeah I'm going to feed first and then do it so unfortunately one of them will have to die oh uh, you're kind of right there watching me okay there you go Oh, what? How did... I wasn't 
spotted or anything. Oh my gosh, and now there's like a huge bounty on my head. Great. Freaking great. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks. I know. Thank you. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Ah, uh, he's gone. Yeah. Let's leave. God, I'm so sad. What? Why are you alive? Why are you considered an important person? So... God, Todd Howard, you're... You're a fruitcake. Like... Uh, like, come on. Like... Uh, uh, fucking Bethesda games. Okay, so... What? Where's the blood? Oh, wait. No, I remember. I just fed on him, so... Yeah. Course. Okay, so can't stay here. I have I have to get I have to leave now. Yeah, so she kicked me out. She's like, I'm not having a vampire who just ate the person uh, staying here. So I have to leave like right now. Like it's it's time to skid at. I gotta skid at and I'm going to make my way to White Run, like right now. Luckily, I'm at stage one, so that should help out. Yes, I know. You're scared. Uh, I need to get the hell out of here. I don't have much time. And every guard from here to Azkabajan, I, <laughs> it's our real place, is probably going to attack me now. Okay, uh, take that off. Take this off. Okay. Oh yeah, that increases my speed astronomically. Now hopefully, uh, when we do get back, because I'm going to cut the footage right here, there will be another house right there, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe there's hope for me yet. When we do get back, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be uh, struggling to survive as a vampire. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you like videos like these and want to see other videos like them, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, I understand. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.